David Fine from Watch Your Lip, guys. We are here at Pompano Beach, and today is gonna be a quick video where we got out and we used a bait that's one of the best snook baits known to man. It's called the croaker, and down here in South Florida, we get them, but it's a little bit more of a northern thing, a little bit further up the coast, they're a little more popular. Down here, we use more pilchers and, and things like that for bait uh, on the beaches, but if you can get some croakers and get them out in the trough, you will hook up. Guys, we're gonna show you a little bit about the croaker today, where we get them, how we get them, and where we use, where we hook them, where we throw them. Check this out, guys. The croaker, it's snook candy. Okay, guys, Sophia has never caught a sand flea. Okay, okay. Here, they're, they're right here. They're right here. Look, right there. You see all? Sophie, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We're going to catch Sophia. Lorenzo, walk up. Walk up. Don't walk near the shore. You're scaring them. Okay. What am I looking for? All right. What are you looking for? I normally, I just catch it with a rig and walk to catch a like All right. Literally right here. You see the little eyes popping up out of the I see it. The little eyes pop out of the sand. Hold on. The little eyes and the antenna right there. I see them. Okay? Now what you gotta do is you gotta go underneath them and scoop them. Go. Go, 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 go. Scoop them out, scoop them out. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. I got it! Get them? Where, where is it? Where is it? Don't don't right drop there. it. You got him? Oh, it's a fatty too. Oh, right. Sophie just caught her very first sand flea. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that that was how you catch them. That, that's how you catch them. Now, mole crab, mole crab, uh, <clears throat> mole crab, aretus and aloga. Sophie has eaten this raw right out of the sand. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna roll the oh boy no oh dude come on all right we're gonna roll the clip of sofia and lorenzo eating raw sand fleas <laughs> if you guys have like a strong stomach for oysters crab all that weird kind of seafood you can eat these things raw guys people eat raw crabs all the time what about seals seals always eat raw crabs bro, true true bro, true we, we eat pompano true, true. And they eat 
true. There you go. I mean, it's all part of the food chain. Part of the deal, dude. The, the flea tastes good. The flea has like a very rich, crabby, sweet, like pumpkin kind of taste. I don't wow, know how to really? It tastes like a pumpkin, bro. Really? really? Look at this right here. <laughs> Who would have like, ever thought these little fleas would taste just like pumpkin pie? Look at oh, that right okay, there. Oh. That's the pie right there. Oh, 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 oh try one. Oh. 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 He wants to try one. Oh my god, yo. My yo, and now the one girls. Oh. He said one of the girls will try it. I got it here. Oh, she got it right here. So we'll okay. clean it over a little bit for her. It's just a flea. I would, I would. I'm gonna pretend it tastes like a Dorito. Oh, okay. Exactly. Bite true with the oh. back molar. Give it a good crunch. Yeah, my She did give it a good crunch. That means our uh, thing is done. It tastes like a pretzel. See, I told you guys it tastes like something good. She's crunching it. It's actually really good. Really? It's a lot of shells though. Oh, okay. But you know what, guys? People actually eat shrimps with the shells and raw. I've seen it. Oh! <laughs> He's yo. This guy's a trooper. Bro, I can't even get this guy to eat like a, a piece of broccoli. <laughs> what? Yeah, AZ I, can't wait, I can't wait for him to eat oh. his first piece of iguana. Bro. He's gonna love it. He's gonna love his first piece of iguana. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> bro, I, can't even, I can't get this kid to get eat a piece of broccoli, bro. He he's won't eat broccoli, eating, but he'll eat a sand flea. He's eating raw sand fleas with the iguana man, guys. Oh he my can't eat god. <laughs> he won't eat a broccoli, but he'll eat a sand flea. <laughs> Comment down below if you have the stomach. To eat. I know it looks bad, but it actually raw. tastes like chicken. Sam Flea. I know it sounds weird, but it tastes like chicken. It tastes, it like, tastes chicken. like chicken. But different. No, it actually does. All right, so we've got we've think. got some Sam Flea action. All right, get one by yourself, Sophie. Go ahead. How do you see that? You see the little look. Wait, wait. When the wave goes out, they're all up and down the beach. Look, look at look down the beach where that wave is. It's coming out right now. You see them all? Oh yeah. There's t there's hundreds and hundreds of them. They're right here, Shelby. If we had a sand flea rake, we would be loading up right now, guys. All right, here, load, load me up. They're everywhere. Okay? Sophie's going in for the kill. She's waiting. She's being patient. She is being very patient. She is... It's all right. Just, just, just be patient right there. Right there with my foot. You gotta hone in on one, use two hands, and get underneath and scoop. Scoop! I got a little one. Oh, I got three! Three. One, oh, two, oh yeah. She got one three and one. In... Ah, there it is! Oh, get him! He gone. Uh, Alright. You still have more? I... Oh yeah, there's one. Oh, dude! Look at him run! Oh, I'm getting him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I got him. I think I got another one. Sophie. There it is. Get it. Oh, I got him. Got him. Sophie got three in one scoop. Congratulations. You have your dinner for tonight. How many did you get? Like four? You want, you want dinner for tonight? That's okay. Right um, you I can have as many one. as you want. I'm good. You good? Okay. All right. What you got, Lorenzo? What you got? Baby slime. Oh, dude, look at that. That is awesome. You see him? Oh, that is so cool, man. Dude, look how white he is. That is awesome. You gotta show Eric that. Eric! Check this out. Look what my boy just caught in a cast net. Does he have teeth? Yes, he have teeth. Oh, flounder. Yeah. Flounder. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah, dude. Look at that thing, dude. It's unbelievable. That makes some seriously wild creatures. Yes, he does. Dude, that would be cool to think. That would be very cool. All right, buddy. Well, he is drastically undersized, so we yeah. gotta we got to go put him back. But very cool find on the cast net, bud. Yeah, bud. Okie dokie, y'all. I've got Lorenzo's Tsunami. And I've got a beautiful little bait put out on it. But Eric just cast into this beautiful croaker. And this guy's is a snook candy right here. So I'm going to hook him up 
We're hooking him right there and then by the anal fin. He's going out, guys. He's gonna go out right in the trough. And we are gonna try and see if we can find us a snook. Does that look like a snook candy to you, boy? Snook candy, baby. Snook candy, come on. Here we go. Uh, let's see. The trough seems to be fairly deep right here. All right, Mr. Croker. That's all it takes right there, guys. That's, that's snook water right there. Lorenzo, hold this for one second. Okay. Fits. His dinner and crab bait. All right. Oh, that's Din Din. That's Din Din. Oh, uh, er Eric's excited. <laughs> Eric's excited. Now, you don't eat barracuda, do you? Uh, I will, but you, you, well, you, you go right ahead. No, you go right ahead. What? You go right ahead. This is a perfect size right That's here. That's perfect eating size Come on, barracuda. Dad, just try it. Oh, we're good. Come on, he got smoked, man. He was in the water for what, 30 seconds? He was not even in the water 30 seconds. Not even 30 Dude, seconds. He wants a fish right in front of his face. You got pliers? Uh, oh, wait, wait. Save the hook and the leader. Whoa. Dude, I just horsed it. Careful, bro. Save the hook and the leader. Well, he, uh -oh. he, yeah, yeah, get it out of there. Uh, Are you slowing up? I got it. You got it? Came out? Yeah. All right, good job, bro. All right. Uh, put his head in the bucket. I guess we need to get more croakers. Yes, we do need to go, go find some with the net, boy. Okay. Oh, you don't want to slice up your rubber. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, he's got it. Does he really? Yep. No way. He does. Look, look. Pull him out. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> it's called Kuda Revenge. Kuda Revenge. All right, croakers, guys, are a species that live literally in the trough. They live in the trough. And uh, you get more? What'd you get? What? Let me see. What you got? Little baby permit? All right, Lorenzo caught a little baby permit. Little baby permit. Little baby perm. All right, go tell them to toss it back. All right, guys, the croakers live right in the trough. And when the waves come up, they run up, they run up with the waves and eat sand fleas. So they become somewhat vulnerable to our cast nets. And so Eric and Lorenzo, Eric just got lucky blind casting and found that one little croaker. And so now Lorenzo. Well, that didn't work. Oh my goodness. All right, come on guys. We need another croaker. Yeah, them croakers, the croakers eat sand fleas. So all the little fish in the surf, the little whiting, the pompanos, the permits, the uh, all those little fish are here dining on the sand fleas that we've been catching. And the, you know, the croakers have a pretty small mouth, but that's what they're eating and they can actually get somewhat big. Yeah, so that, that croaker guys, he was a nice one. He was a good five incher. He was out maybe 10 seconds tops. So I casted him. Like right here in the trough, we're fishing for snook. And I literally handed my rod to Lorenzo to go up and put my phone down on the towel. And in that time, Kuda saw it, ate it, and Lorenzo was on. So Lorenzo lucked out. He got a fish on his new tsunami. And so, um, by the way, a little, uh, a little shout out to Lorenzo's tsunami. He loves this thing. A little more expensive if you really want to see one we'll put a, a description and a link in the bio uh if you want to buy this reel the gears are sealed hey, buddy, hey what what's the matter i can't cover your reel You're, are you covering my reel i'm covering your reel bro i'm just telling you people trying to flex on my i'm just telling people what you <laughs> what you just caught your fish on that's all i just i think you're trying to flex on it well, you know what I'm doing. this kid he gets free lunch free dinner free breakfast and free room and board and I'm very 
thankful for my parents. Free room and board. I'm he, very thankful for my parents. He's used all my stuff his entire life. And now I'm flexing on his one little reel that he bought. Yeah. This is why it was, I got most of it out, but. Yeah, you still got a problem there, buddy. This is why it, I didn't do good on the swim Exqueezies, exqueezies. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, fix it. All right, there you go, guys. We just literally caught one croaker, and within 10 seconds of it being in the water, it got smashed by that barracuda. Didn't even give us a chance to look for a snook. Uh, so they're a great bait. We've tried using those little uh, whiting and and those little king, I guess they're called southern kingfish. The, the little, they look like whiting, they're in the surf. We've tried using those for bait, and we just have not had good luck on them, but for whatever reason, the croakers snook love them. They make a little grunting sound. Uh, they croak, that's why they call croak. And uh, snook love them. So guys, hope you liked the video. Hope you can now identify a croaker and know where to hook them, know where to throw them. Uh, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time guys, watch your lip, signing off from Papano Beach. Take care. Finally hit again. It's probably a bass I'm estimating. Bass? I'm estimating. Dad, what the heck is your gear uh, hookup ratio? Hey, watch your lip.